Located at a strategic point in this metropolitan shopping center is a new symbol of our modern post office department, a self-service postal unit. In keeping with the philosophy of the shopping center, one-stop convenient service, the drive-up self-service postal unit provides complete accommodations for mailing most letters and packages. And it offers these services 24 hours a day, weekdays, weekends, holidays, every day of the year. Available to the mailing public is a bill and coin changer and a series of automatic vending machines that dispense a wide variety of postal commodities. Postal cards, stamped envelopes, parcel insurance, and several denominations of stamps. The self-service unit is attractive, highly functional, compatible with all types of modern shopping center architecture and it is one of the most practical innovations that has been developed for consumer mail service since the advent of the corner mailbox. The man responsible for the development of the self-service postal unit is Assistant Postmaster General Tyler Abel. Mr. Abel, where will we see these new postal units? Eventually, self-service units will be established all across the country. We originally placed experimental units in California, Texas, Georgia, and Maryland. At present, we are installing 100 in shopping centers in every area of the nation, and more, I'm sure, will follow in later years. But tell us, Mr. Abel, just how well were the first units received? Enthusiastically. Even though the first units were experimental and had some imperfections. As a matter of fact, in order to perfect the units, the post office department commissioned a large research organization to take a survey of customer opinion in areas where the experimental units were located. The results show that over 90% of the people interviewed praised the idea. And one of the most important findings in the survey was that most people wanted parcel insurance. And for this reason, we have incorporated this in the newer models. How do these self-service units affect the users of the mails? These units greatly extend the postal service of existing post offices and at the same time carry out President Johnson's mandate to the post office department to give the best possible service at the least possible cost. What are plans for future development, Mr. Abel? As I said a moment ago, a hundred units are currently being installed. This is part of Postmaster General O'Brien's accelerated mechanization program. We will follow up with more. And in addition, we are currently experimenting with a walk-up model for use on college campuses and housing developments and in downtown shopping malls. This is the walk-up type. It provides the same postal services as the drive-up unit, but it is designed primarily for pedestrian traffic. It, too, provides 24-hour-a-day service. A third configuration of self-service equipment is the screen line type, designed expressly for use in the lockbox area of post office lobbies. It also is available for patron use day or night, seven days a week. Shopping centers offer the ideal location for the drive-in self-service units. The centers are usually situated in the heart of heavily populated areas, and parking conditions are excellent. Patrons that already have stamps don't even have to leave their car to mail a letter. But even if you have to park to buy stamps or mail a package, the unit is only a few steps away. A weighing station at one end of the unit is used to determine the amount of postage required. There is a small scale for letters and a large one for packages. To compute postal rates for packages, just follow the simplified information signs. 
Place the package on the scale. Locate the area number for the address on the map. Find that number on the scale and push the tab down. The scale will indicate how much postage is required. Correct change for the vending machines is never a problem. To get small change, just insert a quarter, dime, or half dollar. Correct change is provided automatically. To change a dollar bill, place the bill on the shelf and slide it into the opening as far as it will go. The machine scans the bill, verifies that it's genuine, and provides four quarters in change. At the vending machines, patrons can purchase almost all of the basic postal commodities. One machine automatically sells four cent postal cards, eight cent airmail stamp envelopes, five cent stamp booklets, $15 minimum fee insurance, five cent stamped envelopes, and eight cent airmail stamp booklets. Just insert the correct change Make your selection and push the desired button. It's as simple as that. The other machine sells loose stamps, one cent, four cent, five cent, eight cent airmail, and 25 cent denominations. Again, operation is simple. Just insert change and push a button. Another convenient feature of the unit is a free direct line telephone that connects to a 24-hour postal information service. This phone can be used if a patron needs additional information or has difficulty in mailing a letter or package. A parcel post depository accepts packages up to 24 inches wide, more than adequate for the average size parcel. Collections are scheduled at frequent intervals and pickups are made by the nearby post office that services the unit. Servicing, by the way, is a relatively simple operation. Once or twice a week, a clerk from the post office removes the cash, refills the vending machines with postal merchandise, and tidies up the unit. The self-service operations do not replace regular post office functions but they do help to reduce crowding in lobbies of nearby post offices, and they do shorten waiting periods for services. The unit, therefore, brings greater efficiency to the postal service, a necessity with mail volume rising at a record-breaking rate. The units also help the shopping center. They actually attract people. Store owners have been quoted as saying that the units have favorably influenced their sales. The exact location of the unit in the shopping center parking lot has a lot to do with influencing sales at the unit. This, for instance, is an ideal site. The unit is far enough away from the shops so that it will seldom be surrounded by parked cars and thus become inaccessible. It is immediately adjacent to an outer perimeter road, which makes it easily available for drive-up traffic. Close enough to an entrance to the parking lot but not so close that it will cause traffic problems at the entrance. And it can be easily seen from the street, thereby advertising its availability and leading to early patron acceptance. Who uses the unit? Well, the one-stop shopping homemaker, early and late business mailers, time-conscious patrons, everybody really. The experimental units averaged about 74,000 postal patrons annually, and some units grossed in excess of $100,000 in one year. Yes, day after day, night after night, month after month. Self-service postal units have confirmed the belief of the men who developed them, that they can provide basic postal services conveniently and consistent with the needs of a greatly expanding modern American society.